a Brooklyn coffee shop has turned into a neighborhood pariah after it was accused of doling out Halloween treats to white children only. The Strand Cafe on No Strand Avenue in Bedford Stuyvesant has come under fire on social media and at its location since a pair of prominent residents aired their account of discrimination. Tricks for some, treats for others, read one sign plastered on a window Saturday, complete with a drawing of a crying pumpkin. It's absolutely disgraceful when other people come into black communities and try to change the whole atmosphere of a community, said Iman Essia, 27, after she stopped to look at the signs. I think this specific establishment needs to be shut down. The furor erupted Tuesday afternoon after Oma Holloway and Michael Caitlin, both members of Community Board 3, stopped into the cafe for a tea and coffee. The pair were waiting when they saw the lone cafe worker turn away three different sets of costumed black children out trick-or-treating with adults, Caitlin said. But a pair of white kids, with an older woman, received a much different response. The man behind the counter pulled out a glass jar of individually wrapped cookies and eagerly doled them out, Caitlin said. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, said Caitlin, 54, who's lived in the neighborhood for 32 years. I was thinking there is no way this is happening right now. Caitlin said he and Halloway immediately called out the worker who tried to apologize in broken English. Jeff Batchner for New York Daily News The pair weren't having it and walked out without their beverages. Halloway posted a brief account of the incident on Facebook, prompting a wave of angry replies. Soon the Strand's Yelp page was inundated with one-star reviews and scathing comments. Get your coffee with a side of racism, apparently, one poster wrote. Jeff Batchner for New York Daily News A man who identified himself as the owner eventually posted a message on Yelp, describing the incident as a misunderstanding. The man said the cafe had nothing on hand to give to trick-or-treaters. If a child received an item, it was because it was purchased by a parent, not because we favor children over others, he said. That would be completely inappropriate as well as against our core values of decency. Caitlin said members of the community board had a productive Saturday meeting with the owner who told them the worker had since apologetically admitted to the act. We're trying to use this as a teachable moment and get a positive outcome, he said.